Hi, I'm Wendy Ginsberg, a product manager on the Polymer team. You might have read the description for this talk and thought, well, that's a little vague. A sneak preview of a unique experience we've been working on, built with Polymer? Well, as cryptic as that and Twitter might be, hopefully it at least piqued your interest. So here we are at Polymer Summit 2016. Something I love about summits and big conferences in general is the sheer volume of people who come together all around a common interest. In our case, it's Polymer, web components and modern web technology. It's amazing to see how much the Polymer community has grown in just the last year. I am so proud to say that there are over 700 people here from over 100 countries. I mean, this event is huge. And while that's totally awesome, it can definitely be a bit overwhelming. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to large conferences like this, I can get kind of overwhelmed by how much content there is to absorb or how many people there are that I just don't know yet. And when I think about it, I realize that that's totally crazy because the two main reasons why I and lots of people come to these events is to learn about all the new announcements and technology and more importantly, to meet people to meet you, to meet other Polymer developers, to meet the Polymer team. And since this is a pretty common sentiment, we thought it might be a good idea to create a cute little progressive web app game to engage everyone and make it easy to strike up conversation with each other. So we started out small. As Matt mentioned, a few months ago, Justin and Chris, two engineers on the team, were chatting towards the end of a week and an idea was born, which totally struck a chord with Chris, and he was immediately inspired. The weekend passed, and by Monday, Chris had already built a prototype. I think I can speak for everybody in the room who's there when I say that we were totally floored. I mean, completely blown away by what he built. And we promptly went completely overboard. I mean, everyone suddenly had ideas from left and right, and we just kept tossing feature requests at Chris, and he kept building it bigger and badder and better. First came the rich animations, then came the game logic, then custom artwork, and even music. Before long, it was clear that our idea for a cute little progressive web app game had become so much more. It became a true celebration of the modern web. Proof of all that is possible with web components and progressive web apps. Now, I can't think of anything that serves as a better companion to the Polymer Summit, a celebration of the modern web in its own way, than this PWA. So now, when you're hanging around at the summit and you see someone you might want to interact with, whether it's another attendee or even polycaster Rob Dodson himself, it doesn't matter who it is, where they're from, what language they might speak, or even what device they have. We've made it so that interaction is as simple as saying, game on. We bring you Polymon. <laughs> Polymon. Polymon is an addictingly fun way to interact with the summit. I think it's the best progressive web app on the internet. You'll be the first to try it, and we are so psyched to share it with you. Polymon is a multiplayer, location-based scavenger hunt game, unsurprisingly, where you can collect virtual magical creatures, assemble teams, and battle your friends new and old. Its slick design and complex functionality are powered entirely by modern web tech. The back end is all in Firebase. The front end, of course, is Polymer. And it's written entirely in native HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'd love to tell you more about it, but I'm sure you and I would much rather just see it ourselves. Let's check out a demo. So here you can log in with your Google account and catch Polymon or check out your Polydex. So let's, let's go into the Polydex. Looks like we haven't caught any Polymon yet, so all we see is silhouettes and question marks. Let's change that. In order to capture Polymon, you can go around and find Polymer team members who'll be wearing 
one of these either on their sleeve or on their badge. And you'll introduce yourself, maybe strike up some conversation about web components, and scan them, and it'll add right to your polydex. Rumor has it that the harder to find team members might just be worth some more points. <laughs> so the app and scanning, it's all built in one. So when you click Catch Polymon on your menu page, the scanner will open. And here's Chris with a demo. There we go. Boom, we've caught a seed out of Polymon, which is actually Chris's. And so this will pop right up. If you repeat this a minimum of three times, you'll have enough to be ready to assemble a team in battle. To start a battle, you must first find an opponent. So you can see here represented by these two phones. Then you'll visit your Polydex, click the battle button, below here, and then start a battle. We'll generate a new battle code for you dynamically, and then your opponent will do something very similar. They'll go to their Polydex, click battle, but this time they'll click join a friend and a scanner will open. When the code is scanned, the battle instantly begins. And then, boom, your teams are on the front lines. You can see your team in the foreground and your opponents in the background. Make your first move by selecting one of three rock, paper, scissors style actions. We've got attack, focus, and counter. As you can see, after you pick your action, you can select which polymon you want to act with based on your stats. Now there's a lot of strategy behind this and I'm sure you'll all figure it out. But all you need to do is click around and select a polymon to lock in your move for the round. So it looks like both teams have locked in and now you'll see this rich animation <laughs> displaying exactly what happened to each person and how much health was lost. And then that is dynamically updated, as you can see in the bottom corner. Looks like uh, we've got 15 to 11. Now this goes play by play, round by round, until one team runs out of Polymon. Insider tip, if you're already thinking about your strategy and looking for a fierce opponent or a Polymon trainer, we held a Polymon tournament during lunch two weeks ago, and Elliot was ultimately victorious over Taylor in the final round. He seems to have the whole thing figured out. And, which I'm sure you are, if you're curious about what went into building Polymon in its entirety, I highly recommend checking out Chris Joel's talk later, Monster Apps. Now, this is not only because Chris is hilarious and he built this entire thing by himself, um, but it's because he has a lot of experience building heavy duty, not just monster themed, but monster sized web apps. And he'll be sharing tons of tips and tricks and stories with us. Before that, I'll leave you with a few more technical features of Polymon. I've been calling it a progressive web app, but you might be wondering what is it about Polymon that makes it a true PWA? So first, we've got a frictionless download. So forget about an app store, putting in payment info, or waiting to download the giant file. If you've got a modern browser, you've got Polymon. It's as simple as that. Second, there's a service worker, which makes it very resilient to network connectivity issues. While we've learned our lesson and beefed up the network capacity for this year's summit, we all know conference Wi-Fi is notorious, so this is a crucial feature not just to have today, but to have always. Finally, it's got a native look and feel. No matter which device you access Polymon on, be it a phone, phablet, tablet, desktop, it'll look and feel like Polymon was built to fit that screen. Though Polymon's appearance and functionality may make you think it's a native app, its size proves that it is certainly not. Crazy, but our main page, which loads a live map, a QR processor, code for the polydex, and the UI elements for the menu, weigh in at under 200 kilobytes. Yeah. <laughs> and even more crazy, the entire Polymon application is under 1% the size of another kind of popular location-based scavenger hunt game on the market right now. <laughs> so I'll just leave it at that. Final recap, 
Go out there, catch three to five polymon, assemble a team, start a battle, and more importantly, have fun and meet people. This is where you could check out polymon. polymon.polymer-project.org. Finally, thank you, I'm Wendy, or as you'll soon find out, Ginzard. Go introduce yourself to the Polymer team during the break and start catching some Polymon. Thank you.